guys, I hope you're having a beautiful day. As always, I have another drugstore haul. Rite Aid and CVS this time, and <sighs> shame on me. I have been to the drugstore way too much lately, um, and that is because Hannah and I are going to be doing a haul again, or a haul, what am I saying? Her and I are going to be doing a swap. So Hannah lives in Australia, and this will be our third swap. So we did one last fall, we did one in January of this year, and we're going to be doing one again this fall. So. I've been doing lots and lots of shopping to get her some of my favorite items from the drugstore and probably some things she's really interested in trying. But in the meantime, that means I'm also getting stuff for myself. <laughs> so yeah, I just can't help it. So we will start with Rite Aid first because I got the least amount of items from there. Rite Aid is not typically my favorite pharmacy to visit, so CVS is in case you can't tell by now. Um, I was so excited to see these. I haven't seen them anywhere else. They are the new Baby Lips in... this is the Neon Collection or something like that? It doesn't even say on the package. That's weird. Um, anywho, I believe these are the Neon Collections or Electric Collection or something like that. This one is in the color Striking Rose. Look how absolutely beautiful that is. I'm like doing fist waving. It's so beautiful. Super beautiful. I plan on opening this one up and reviewing it on my blog, so I'm not going to open it up and swatch it yet, but that is so pretty. Hopefully it comes out remotely pigmented like that. Um, then I bought the L'Oreal lipstick, and this is part of the new pink collection, and this is the section that's for people with lighter or fair skin tones. They had two colors, and I had such a hard time choosing. So they had ballet shoes, which was the lightest pink, which I really wanted that one, and then they also had I Pink You're Cute, and this one was just too striking for me to walk away from. Look at that, it's so pretty. Um, so I figured the ballet slippers I could probably do without, but with as much as I love how this one looks, I might have to get the other one. And it may sound kind of corny, but I do feel like this is really complimentary for my skin tone. Um, and they had like slightly brighter pinks for the like medium and uh, deeper skin tones. Oh, it's so pretty. It is such a beautiful color, and I'm glad I chose this one. And the Maybelline Baby Lips, I want to say, was like $3.79 or something, and then the lipstick was $7.99. So then I went to CVS. So we'll start with these. Here is a Color Icon Trio that I did not have, and this is in the color Getting Sunburn. It's got that really pretty pink shade up here. It's got sort of a bronzy, deeper brown shade down here, and then this like little golden bronzy shade. That was a really bad description, but I didn't have the Getting Sunburned Trio. And then I also have never tried any of these NYC Color Wheel blushes, so I got this one in the color Pink Cheek Glow. I thought it was super, super pretty, and it's got a little bit more of like some natural shades in there, and then like some different shades of pink. So I kind of wanted to see, you know, what this was all about, if it's actually any good. At the very least, it's pretty, and it suckered me in just based on that. I bought a new... Physicians Formula Jumbo Organic Wear Mascara. This is an ultra black. This is my go-to mascara. I have a ton of mascaras, but I always go back to that one. And my other one just dried out if you recently saw my last month's empties. Another thing that I've heard just rave reviews on for a really long time is the Physicians Formula Matte Quad Eyeshadow, and this is in the Canyon Classics. It's a really pretty like quad of neutrals in here, and I haven't even opened this one yet. I've heard a couple people reference this as probably the best set of drugstore matte eyeshadows that they have found yet. And they look really beautiful, really classic, like you can see there's not one bit of shimmer in that whatsoever. And it's a nice like small-ish, like really classic looking compact kind of thing going on here. Like you push a little... but anywho, I need to stop talking about the packaging. Then, um, this absolutely made my day. I found this Milani Crystal Gloss for Lips, and I found two of them. I found two more of them. So Hannah, here's a sneak peek. You're getting one of these, and then ugh, I have the one that I have open, and this is my backup, and then I have like a shoebox full of everything that I'm sending to Hannah, like down over there, um, and you have one of these in there as well, but this one's my backup, and 
I was so excited that I found, I found two more, so I actually bought them. And it is such a beautiful color, I absolutely love it. So there's your little cheat if you're watching Hannah. Let me know down below if you actually watch this and you now know one of your items. So the rest of what's left over in the bag is nail polish, which is probably what I need. Like, I need a hole in the head, which is what my grandpa would say. Whenever you ask my grandpa about something and he doesn't need it, or he thinks it's something ridiculous, or, um, <laughs> that's so funny. Um, if, you know, if he had like 15 Hershey Kisses, he's a total chocolate candy addict. Um, if he's had like 15 Hershey Kisses and you're like, Grandpa, do you want some more chocolates? He would always be like, oh, well, I need that, like I need a hole in my head. So, I mean, obviously he doesn't need a hole in his head. It's just his, he's from West Virginia. So it's his fun way of like, never mind, just reminiscing on my grandpa, which he's still alive and he's fantastic. Anywho, um, so I got a couple confetti nail polishes. Claire Bear 3334. I'm so sorry, Claire, if I got the numbers on your channel mixed up. I'm trying to go off memory. So Claire Bear here on YouTube, she has her own channel. I'll link her down below. She did a nail polish collection, and I saw her nail polish collection, and she said that her favorite nail polish from the drugstore was the confetti polish. So I recently sent her her prize. She won um, my blog giveaway slash YouTube giveaway for my Wet n Wild Mega Last Lipstick swatches. So I sent her that and I sent her a couple extra goodies too. It took me a little while to send her her package. So I'm sorry, Claire, and I'm glad you love it. Um, but I picked up a couple for me as well. So I picked up this color right here, which is called Senorita Margarita, which I thought was adorable. And it's like this bright kind of highlighter yellow shade. And I don't have anything like this. It's a little more subdued than a highlighter, which is good. Then I bought this color, which I think she said was her favorite confetti color, and this is in First Kiss. Correct me if I'm wrong, Claire. Tell me below what your favorite color is. Uh, I just thought it was this really pretty, like, Barbie, almost kind of pepto bismol pink, but not in a bad way. And then I purchased these two glitter ones, and this one is called Tasmanian Devil, and it's just super, super glittery. It reminds me a lot of my OPI Rainbow Connection one from the Mop from the Moppets, from the Muppets. Um, it's just like all these different rainbow colors of sparkles, and it, it like made me feel inspired to do some nail tutorials, which I haven't been doing. Um, and then this one is in pink confetti. And it's just really pretty, like, sort of gel color, very light peachy. It's mostly just going to come off, like, glittery. And then Danny actually chose these colors for me, and <laughs> which is funny. Um, he chose some Milani colors, which it's so funny that these two items, or these two different, um, there's another one down here. Um, these two different brands that he chose for me, I have actually never used before. So I was like, oh. Well, those are great choices because I've never actually tried those one and I don't have those in my collection at all. So that's really funny that I have so many different types of nail polishes and the ones that he chose are the ones that I don't have at all. Anyhow, so he chose two different Milani colors. These are the High Speed Fast Dry Polishes. This is in Fast Fuchsia number four. Once again, a really beautiful shade. It almost reminds me of my lip gloss over there. This one's more pink though. The other one's more corally. And then there is number 21, Rapid Cherry, which is just this beautiful, really classic red cherry color. And then lastly, we have two Nicole by OPI nail polishes, and these are from the Gumdrops collection. And let's see, this one is in Candy is Dandy, which is adorable. It's a really pink shade with a whole bunch of glitter in it. And then the second one here is more of a maroon shade, and this is called My Cherry Amour. That's funny, he chose two colors that have the word cherry in them. It's a berry color and it has, once again, that sort of sandy, glittery thing going on. They're really pretty shades. Alrighty, so that was it for my drugstore haul. I need to stay away from the drugstores. You guys should tell me down below how I should stay away from the drugstores. Anywho, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day as always. If you haven't said hi to me before and you watch my channel, say hi down below. I would love to say hi back. I try to reply to as many comments as I can. I just love interacting with you guys. It brings such joy to my life. Um, and YouTube is just such a fabulous thing. I get to meet people from all over the world. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around and hang out with me some more. Hit the subscribe button if you want to come say hi to me in any of my other places. I have my links down below, Twitter, Instagram, or my blog. Once again, if you want to come say hi there, I would love to say hi back. 
So yeah, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day as always, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!